Guys, with the sheer volume of awesome quality knives that come in to the channel all the time, it takes a lot for me to get really excited about a knife, which is kind of unusual in this case because I was kind of on the fence as to whether I was even going to like this. But I love it, and if I had the money, I would buy one. This is the Matse Basilisk, and we're going to take a look at it from above. This is the Matse Basilisk, and this is a knife that I am so happy showed up. This is an amazing knife. This is one of the coolest knives that has showed up in a long time. So Jared over at Neves Knives sent me this beautiful, beautiful knife. Uh, I absolutely love it. The only reason I'm doing the review right now is because if I don't, it's going to spend too much time in my pocket. I absolutely have to get it done so that I'll put it away and stop carrying it. So let's do some quick specs. So you're looking at an overall length of uh, 7.125 inches overall. You're looking at a blade length of 3 inches. It is a M390 blade that's done in a drop point fashion with a beautiful satin on it. The heat treat on this has been amazing, but we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, your handle length is 4.125 inches. These are done in titanium and micarta. And it's done in a bolster format, so you've got a bolster lock. This comes in a lot of different styles. There's a full titanium. There's some black and, and other options. Uh, so just a bunch of different options. It has got a flipper and thumb stud. It is got reversible. It's got ambidextrous thumb studs that you can reverse flick off of. Um, and so, oh, I'm sorry for your aspect. Final overall weight is 3.7 ounces, which I found surprising because it's kind of a beefy knife. It is really light and well balanced. So let's get some size comparisons out of the way. So just what happened to be in pocket right now is the Spider Capara. You can see a good bit bigger than the Basilisk. Your next knife is the Benchmade 940. And as you can see, the 940 is a good bit longer than this knife. Uh, but this is beefier. So, and then your final knife, as always, is the Chris Reese Benza Large 21, a good bit longer. Let's get this out of the way and take a good look at this knife. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, I had some doubts about this knife when it first showed up. I knew it looked cool and I liked everything about it. It is very visually striking. You've got a really nice, beautifully done clip point blade that comes down. It's got a beautiful satin on it. It's done in M390. The heat treat on this has held up incredibly well. They definitely nailed their heat treat on this M390 because I have cut a lot and the only thing I did was just touch it up on a ceramic hone, on an ultra fine ceramic, and then strop it. You can see it's polished up a little bit, but I have cut so much cardboard with this. Comes down to a nice thin behind the edge on this and it is done in some beefy stocks that did a really good job with their grind and like i said it's just gorgeous with all the facets and then one of my favorite favorite finishes is this satin where you get that rainbow effect the handles on it are really well done titanium and micarta done in a bolster lock fashion there's no hot spots on this it is incredibly smooth you've got thumb stud and flipper tabs on this. And the cool thing about this is the flipper tab completely disappears. So you've got this area here also. This is one of the cool things. A lot of times knives will come down and there's a hard edge here. And when you flip, especially on some of these shorter flippers, you hit that hard edge and it can be uncomfortable. They've opened that up so that you just roll into this wider spot. So not only does it look cool, it gives it a cool line, but it absolutely serves a feature. It, it's a feature that serves a purpose. Your handles have got this area here that is a little bit wider, and typically I'm not a fan of that because it feels like wasted space. On this knife, it's not. You can get your middle finger up in here and get up on that, and that is a very, very secure grip to bear down and do some heavy-duty cutting. I find it really comfortable. A lot of times when you get up here, you kind of lose the angle of the cut. On this knife, you really don't. It's not so pronounced. Uh, and then your sharpening toil on this is just about perfect. It gets you out past. Now, I've cut a lot with this knife, and I have not found any real discomfort in cutting. There's no hot spots. They did a really awesome job. They did an awesome, awesome job of knocking off that sharp edge that I always complain about on knives like this. There are no sharp points. It's all clean and softened. Some of the most attractive reverse honeycomb on a knife on these pivots and on the pocket clip. And then, like I said, extremely light because on top of the fact that they removed all this material on the titanium, which is already light, 
for the micarta, they have done weight reduction inside. And there is nothing really to say about the lines of this knife. The action on this is stellar. It is just shy of drop shut. The clean lines, the flipper works perfectly. This flipper could, on a lot of knives, that type of flipper can be problematic. It works perfectly on this. No issues with that. These are available. I'll put a link to it down below. These are available right now, but this is a knife I absolutely have fallen in love with since it came. Jared has sent me some really awesome knives. This is one of them. The micarta on this is so good. It is grippy and it's finished well, and this will patina over time. I just cleaned this up for the video. I cleaned the whole knife up, but these were definitely, definitely way darker. And that's the nice thing about micarta. You can easily clean it up. And then in and out of pocket has been a dream. It's nice and smooth in and out of pocket. There's no problem with access to the lock bar, even though it is kind of unusual looking and it's not very deep. You've got really good access to it. So the cool thing about these bolster locks is you get the lock on what you would see on a frame lock, but the clean lines that you get from a liner lock. So really, really cool. I have found a couple things that I don't like about the knife. They're very, very minor. And we'll talk about those in just a second after you guys hear from a channel sponsor. Guys, did you know that Coffee Brand Coffee has more than just awesome on-demand roasted coffees and flavored coffees. They also have tea, cocoa, cold brew bags, decaf, and they have premium candies that will make your family go nuts. So check them out with the link down below to save 10% on some of the best coffee you're going to find. So very, very minor things on this. Uh, it is a little thick at the tip. I found that to be, I mean, it is really kind of a little bit blunt at the tip and there appears to be a bit of a facet at the very forward tip on this because it's a little bit asymmetrical. The rest of the grind seems really good, but at the very tip, you can see there, it seems a little asymmetrical right there uh, with that little facet you see there. Uh, other than that, the grind on it has been beautiful. The Thumb studs are really good and you can get action on them, but the problem I have is they are a little close. They The flipper tab action is great. I don't like the thumb stud action as much because they are kind of close in there. Uh, it gives a really good line on the knife, but especially with reverse flick, it can be problematic. And then the last couple things, the, po the pocket clip is beautiful. The pocket clip has been done really well. The pocket clip is great in and out of pocket. However, I'm not a fan of these really, this is a fairly long pocket clip and I'll tell you why. There has been two or three times this caught on my seat belt and either yanked the knife out of my pocket or felt like it was going to bend the pocket clip. I have sprung several of these long pocket clips because my seatbelt has a much higher chance of catching these longer pocket clips than it does the others. And then as always, you guys know it's coming. I wish they had just put a post. I wish they had just put a post in the backspacer as opposed to a lanyard hole. It's every bit as good of an option. I do know it takes a little bit more machining and time, but it also doesn't break up the lines on what is an amazingly beautiful knife. So there you go, guys. I absolutely love this. Big shout out to Jared over at Neve's Knives for making a lot of these videos possible. Most of the stuff you see on this channel comes from him. Let's turn us around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. Yeah, guys, a after I got used to the handles on this, I absolutely fell in love with this knife. This is everything that that Vero that looks similar to it should have been, but wasn't. This thing is awesome. I absolutely recommend picking one up. There is a link down in the description below so you can purchase it. Uh, and I will put it in a pinned comment. It's, this is one that I absolutely, if you buy it, you're definitely going to be able to sell it to someone else, even if you don't like it. But I doubt if that's going to happen. So guys, that's it on this one. Thumbs up or thumbs down on the video. But if you don't like it, tell me why. I've got a bunch of ways you can support I don't remember if I threw a Coffee Brand Coffee ad in, but you could always go to Coffee Brand Coffee with my link below. Save 10% at checkout on a guilt-free purchase. No politics involved in any of the stuff they're doing. And they have a 100% money back guarantee on coffee that is roasted on demand. They've got tea, cocoa, cold brew bags, decaf, and some of the best flavored coffees you're going to find. Temper Trail down below, some of the best shoelaces you're going to find in the industry. Almost indestructible. You can use them on your hiking boots, on your casual shoes, things like that. 
I have got a coupon code for both of those. It's crazy sharp, all one word. That also works at farmforceknifeworks.com and Rosecraft Blades. I have a long list of affiliates down below all of those websites. If you use those links, it doesn't cost you anything. A checkout supports the channel, as does my Amazon store down below. Take that link, pin it to your browser, use it for any Amazon shopping you're gonna do. And it supports the channel and Jeff Bezos has to give me a little cut of his money. I have a membership down below. It's all tier based. Everyone gets access to my private, my private discord. Everyone gets early access to videos. Everyone gets exclusive content when I put it out. The baseline and premium guys are entered into giveaways that I do on the private discord. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind that paywall. The link is down below. If you want to join the channel, it's a way that I can give you back a benefit for supporting the channel. So there you go, guys. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.